Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate Back on the 66 Mustang. What we're gonna try to get taken care of now is the door jams and the deck lid and the hood jam. But first we're gonna have to take everything apart because I'm gonna paint it off the vehicle. And it looks pretty simple to take off. Got four bolts back here. And the doors, they're real simple. Ain't got no wires running through them. Just two bolts at the top and look like three at the bottom. And the hood pretty much the same. If I can get it open, let me see. Alright. Pretty simple. So let's get that taken care of. Then I'll cut you back on. As you can see, I done got the doors off. I'm doing it by myself, so I had used a old tire for support. I just got to take the big lid and the hood off. But I'm going to wash these doors up. I got to get my rag. I'm going to wash these up before I start sanding on them. Look like it needs some new weather stripping. But I'm going to clean them up real good. Then I'll take them inside and start sanding. I'm removing this weather stripping now. I done tuck this, this one here off this door. Don't make no sense to leave this old weather stripping on. Because they ain't that expensive. Might well replace them. It's best to do it now than me painting it and then try to do it because you ain't going to have paint up under here like you need it. It's going to be bridged like this here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it now. Take care of it. I got the weather stripping up. Now I'm trying to remove all this leftover adhesive that was on the back and some of the weather stripping still stuck on. So. I just got me a wire brush and I'm just going at it like this. I'm gonna have to, once I get it done though, I'm gonna have to reprime this because it's gonna put deep scratches in it. But it'll be all right. Almost out of everything sanded. I had just went around this part here with a wire wheel, then I came back with some 180 and feathered everything out. The primer should fill up everything else. This part here, I'm just gonna use a maroon scotch spray. I used this, well, I did this with uh, sandpaper, but I'm using maroon scotch spray on this part here. And I got the maroon scotch spray here. 
07447. I just take me a piece off and just scuff it up so the paint will stick to it. I'm going to do the hood and the deck lid like this because I ain't got no repairs on the deck lid and the hood. So I'm just going to use this maroon scar spray. I also put glaze and put it on some spots that was chipped up, especially over here. Because whoever painted it, painted over chips and it left like a hard line. So I just put this around where the hard line was. So I'm just going to sand it smooth and it should be feathered, feathered out. I'm going to wait for it to dry. Then I'll take care of that. And this top. I'm just going to spray some flat black on this top. And then I'm going to use gloss black on the sides. Because this top here. It's part of the door panel. It's a little piece go right here. But this part here could be seen. So it was like a matte black. But I sanded it. And I'm going to shoot some prime on it too. Because you can see where it's trying to surface rust from that moisture. Like down here. But I'm going to shoot some prime on it. So let me finish up. And right here, looks like they tried to repair something. It might have was rusting, but I had smoothed it on that some. So let me finish up and I'll cut you back on. I finished up sanding everything with the Scotch Bright and the 180 sandpaper. Now I think I'm good for some primer. I don't want to cover these texture marks up with the primer, so I'm going to try to put a light coat on that. I might just spray it up to here because they didn't prime it from the factory. That's why that little surface was coming up. But I'm going to blow everything off and wipe it down. Then I mask this here off because I don't want to get paint on this. And plus this chrome up in here. And I probably mask this whole section off right here where the door panel go and I was gonna paint the car jams and the hood and deck lid with this but I think I'm just gonna do a separate video on it I'm gonna paint probably the grill and I took the front clip off I'm gonna paint the front clip with this so cuz I don't want to have I don't want to have all that stuff in the paint booth so I just do a separate video on it wipe everything down with wax and grease remover also mask this area here up. And I said I was going to do this whole section, but I just stuffed some newspaper down in the hole so it won't get to the glass. Let me spray this primer. Then I'll be, I'll probably spray this flat black after the primer. Then I'll wet sand it. But I'm going to go ahead and spray this primer right quick. got that taken care of. I just put a little light coat up here where I'm going to spray the flat black. But down here I put about three coats because I'm going to wet sand that. Once I spray the flat black. See this bottom got some kind of texture. But I'm not going to worry about getting that flat. I don't know if you can see it. 
So let me spray this flat black. Then I'll cut it back on. I'm just going to spray probably from here up. Because the weather strip can go there. Let me take care of that. Finished up spraying the black. First I said I was going to go with a flat black, but I changed it up went with a satin black. Because it actually matched this here a lot better than flat black. And this goes right here, right in the middle. So now, all I got to do is wet sand this part here. Just move it out. The part I'm going to shoot with the two stage base coat, clear coat, gloss black. And I also would be wet sanding these pieces here because I'm going to spray these when I spray the door jams. This piece and this one here. This is the front clip part. And I might just spray this with the uh, satin, the grill. And I just got some 320 wet sanding paper by Evercoat. I'm going to dip it in some soap and water. Then I go ahead and start wet sanding. Finished up with the wet sanding. As you can see, you might still can see some black on some of the areas, but it's smooth though. Also got the headlight bells. I'm gonna spray that on the door itself. Cause I put the rest of the pieces over here. I think I got everything in position like I want it. Believe I'm gonna call it a night and come back out here in the morning. And do the spraying. See, done got dark on me. I've been out here basically all day, off and on. I got dark on me out there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Come out here in the morning, finish it up.
this three coats of the jet black base it's been about 20 minutes before I finished up on it done flashed off now it's ready for the clear coat I'm going with a high solid clear coat by Eurocam mixes two to one All right, let me go ahead and mix it up. three coats so the clear laid down real good I just had one mishap when I was spraying this piece over here I was bending down and when I came up my thumb had hit the fan pattern and made it real narrow and it shot too much clear right up in here but it's running down now but it'll be okay I just wet sand that and reshoot some clear on it when I shoot the other pieces. But other than that, everything good. I guess I unmasked them doors and put the door panel back on it. Then I'll give you another shot of how it looked with the satin and the gloss together. Stop